Juan Soto, the mega superstar from the, the Nationals coming off of a 2019 World Series. Man, he gets traded. He's in San Diego. Juan Soto got a hit and a walk yesterday. 44,000 people came out to watch the San Diego Padres. I'm going to tell you something. If the San Diego Padres don't get great attendance for all that they have done, wow, they'll never get great attendance. They did yesterday, and Soto delivered. Juan Soto now said this about opposing pitchers. Me too, Juan Soto. I feel bad for I opposing pitchers. I wish good luck pitchers. to the older pitchers. <laughs> <laughs> I wish good luck to the older pitchers. <laughs> I wish good luck to the older pitchers. <laughs> I wish good luck to all the pitchers. Yeah. Yeah, now here's the other deal. Remember, there's a lot of luck that goes into winning a World Series, a Super Bowl, an NBA title, I don't know. Remember this. When you look at luck, remember the guy Dart? I talk about him all the time. The safety for the 49ers who had the ball in his hands under 10 minutes to go for an interception on Matt Stafford, up 10 points. The 49ers were going to get the ball with less than 50 yards to go. Up 10 points. Under 10 minutes in the uh, in the NFC Championship game. It was over for the Los Angeles Rams, and they're bringing in Stafford, and they're bringing in Darnold, and they're bringing in OBJ. Over. It was a standing eight count when the ball was here. If he would have caught it, it would have been a 10 count, but he dropped it. And everybody went to their corner and started over. And the Rams got it done, no matter how many players they brought in. Same thing here for San Diego. This isn't over because they got a guy batting 240 who is a superstar. I think he's great. A lot of luck have to be involved. A lot of luck. You get one hot pitching staff in one playoff series, and next thing you know, I don't know. All I'm saying is don't get too cocky.